boom and just like that a new CWI director is in town yes my viewers and subscribers welcome back welcome back to the channel so earlier today West Indies announced CWI announced that uh, Miles Bascom is our new director of cricket so I'm gonna give you some info on that and I'm also gonna be taking a look at the second Ashes test match that is ongoing I am also gonna be in the comment section for this one to hear what you all have to say for the Miles Bascom appointment I am going to take a back seat on this one I am just gonna give the information and I'm gonna take a back seat I don't know much about the man he has been in and around West Indies cricket for a while now based on what I know but in terms of um, accolades in terms of um, qualification as it relates to um, you know whether or not we see him as a good fit I think I will withhold all judgment right now you know I don't know I don't know much about him it's like when somebody like a Carl Hooper is appointed as a coach or somebody like a Jimmy Adams is appointed as a, direct, as a director and I can say well you know I can give my opinion based on what I would have seen of these players in prior roles you understand I have heard of my Miles Bascom in and around the team for quite some time but um, as it relates to you know the, the duty or the role of a director of West Indies cricket I think I'm gonna sit back and let some of the um, guys on this platform that are probably more knowledgeable about his background give me some info I will look at it and then I'll probably come up with some something on, of my, um, on my own I think that's a fair thing to do alright so taking this from, from the West Indies website it says uh, at a board of directors meeting on Friday which is today June 30 at the College Cricket Ground in Antigua, Cricket West Indies CWI has appointed Miles Bascom as the new director of cricket. Right? They say on a three year contract, Bascom will take over from Jimmy Adams, who had been in the role for the past six years. So Jimmy Adams has been there for six years. Miles Bascom is gonna is only given a three year contract. Whether or not it will be renewed, um, renewed or is a voting process is a, you know, something that we will, we will have to see. So they say Bascom played 37, um, Bascom, 37, played one T20 international for the West Indies in 2011 and played first class uh, cricket between 2007 and 2017. So he's 37, young, young, young guy. They say for both the Windward Islands and the combined campuses and colleges, he is a graduate of the University of the West Indies with both bachelor's and master's degrees and um, is a certified coach. So there you have it, a little bit of information there. He has paperwork, but um, not a lot of experience in terms of being out and out leader, right? He, he, he stopped playing in 2017 based on what they're saying just a few years ago. As I said, he has been in and around the West Indies setup for quite some time now. So let me go down and see if I can get some more information. They say Bascom, who was a CWI's men's selector between 2019 and 2021, has been the technical director at the Windward Islands Cricket Board over the last two years. Under his technical leadership, there have been a, rem a, a remarkable turnaround of the fortunes for both male and female cricket. Um, across the different levels including an unbeaten first class season in 2023 Johnny Grave who is the CWI Chief Executive Officer had this to say and I quote following a thorough re recruitment process Miles stood out in the panel with uh, his skills experience and intimate knowledge of our cricket system especially at territorial board level his passion and understanding of the game at all levels are um, outstanding he is a critical thinker right with a strong analytical and strategic mindset which will be hugely beneficial to us as we embark on formulating our four-year um, strategic plan i have no doubt 
he will hit the ground running and will relish the challenge before us to develop the higher standard and better structure within our cricket system end quote that is what the, the, the CEO of West Indies Cricket had to say. Now, Miles in accepting said this, and I quote, West Indies Cricket is at a critical stage with an urgent need to improve performances. We have made significant progresses with establishing a central high performance system that now needs to be rolled out across all of our ter um, territories. I am looking forward to working as a member of the CWI senior leadership team and closely with the territorial boards to bring about the necessary improvements that I am confident will lead to the success um, that will lead to success by implementing a robust system based on achieving world class standards and by driving a winning culture. So. He said that it's going to be um, a success because, you know, it's robust and they are, they are driving world-class performance and, 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 and world-class standards and them sort of things. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to take a back seat on this one for now. Um, I, don't re I don't recall him. I don't recall the games that he played or the, the, the one game that he played for us um, at the international level. I don't know much about him. As I said, I know that he has been around the West Indies setup for a little while. So I think it's fair for me to make the people in the comment section that are more knowledgeable on uh, Mr. Mr. Bascom give me some information. As I said, the paperwork is there to show that he has done, you know, degrees in leadership and, 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 and all of them sort of things. So he has the paperwork there. He has his coaching certificate. So... Let, let me hear what you guys have to say where, where, where Mr. Miles is concerned. And I will defi I'm definitely going to touch on it at another time. I just need to gather some more information and then I will make a, 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 a sound, you know, uh, opinion. Um, just before we close, I uh, want to give you an update on how Buzz Ball is going. So Buzz Ball against, um, should we call it regular cricket? Buzz ball is on the back foot. Yes, Buzz ball is on the back foot, my viewers and subscribers. So, at the end of day three, you can say that you can say that um, Australia they are firmly in the lead. Uh, they made four hundred and sixteen, as I would have indicated. Uh, England they were bowled out for three hundred and twenty-five with uh, you know the opener docket top scoring with uh, ninety-eight. I think it was. Let me just uh, double check there. I think he made ninety-eight. And he was the top sc top scorer. Yeah, Duckett made 98 as the top scorer. So they were all out for, for that 325. You know, they lost the last six wickets and are rapidly. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of this buzz ball culture. Why they think they can't duck when short ball is being bowled. Mitchell Stark bowl a lot of short pitch delivery. Grant you, Mitchell Stark knows how to bowl short pitch delivery deliveries towards the body. But there are a couple of them that... I think the, the batsmen could have said, you know, let's duck and leave them. But they, they got themselves into some sticky situation and got out. Harry Brook, for example, man was well set and decided that he was going to try and hook and pull every short ball and eventually got out looking really, really, you know, I don't even know. You understand? So, Australia currently lead by 221 runs. Um, at the close of play, Australia batting a second time, they were 130 for two. Kowaja there and 58. Uh, David Warner made 25. Marnus Lamashe 25. And um, Steve Smith is on 6. So Steve Smith and Osman Kawaja are still at the crease. So they will resume on two, 130 for 2. So that's a lead of 221. Let me know how the buzz ball thing is working out, my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the board. Keeping you informed. Big up.